All right, everyone, it's time to get to the meat of this trial. We finally accused Celeste. Surprise, surprise. Just to be clear, there is evidence to support it. Thank you, Biafia. Evidence to support that we're the bittersweet gamers. Aren't we squared? I'm the opinionator. Anyway, let's keep going. Is that so? <laughs> Throughout the investigation, there was certain behavior that was common only to the two of you. Yeah, that behavior is the only thing that really, the, that the proof could be. Right. Considering what we've learned so far, it only further proves that the two of you were working together. She just kept dragging everyone around. And that, all like the funny talking about the screams. Mm -hmm. And they even did have weird screams. What is it that only he, for me, and Celeste had in the common? Screaming! The screaming! Okay. No! No! Uh, encountering the suspicious I individual. I mean, that's what it is. Dang it, I can't believe we fell for that. Common has to do with the suspicious individual in the suit, doesn't it? We just wanted to keep talking about the screaming. <laughs> it was this some sort of a signal. And the <clears throat> only ones who ever actually saw Robo Justice firsthand were Celeste and Hifun. That was us rushing it again. Shush. The adults are talking now. Oh. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> As he said, only Celeste Ouch. and Hifumi ever laid eyes on the costumed individual. Right, something we had pointed out fairly early on. Mm -hmm. If we accept that Hifumi was one of the culprits, we can't help but suspect what Celeste has said as well. We did, I believe it was as soon as we started to, to suspect that there was an accomplice. Mm -hmm. Well, we did from the very no from the very beginning when Celeste was talking to us after having been attacked. Yeah, we, we were thought like, that was suspicious, like obscenely suspicious, and then none of it made sense. That was it. Everything they told us was a lie. After taking Hifumi to the nurse's office, we all began our search for this individual. Correct. And not too long after that, do you remember what Celeste said? I saw a shadow. This is the 17th time <laughs> that I have read this line. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. We headed to the second floor specifically because of what she claimed to have seen. Which is a man in a robot suit that can't move, somehow moving from stairway to stairway. Next, to draw us all to the physics mm -hmm. lab up on the third floor. Mm -hmm. She let out a blood-curdling scream. <laughs> The screaming matters, see? And when we'd all come to see what was wrong, what was it she said? Celeste, what's wrong? Are you sick you're going to have to read this a 13th time? I mean, that was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costumed man! He ran off as soon as I screamed. And not because of your singing? <laughs> I was blocking the stairs, so we headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Like magic. Once she'd done her job of getting us all up to the physics lab, it was time for her partner to get to work. Huh? 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 Sh shut up! I I hate this so much. <laughs> That came from downstairs! I have read this so many times! It must have been! He for me, he's in the nurse's office, it's bad, go back! Ah! Huh! I'm better now, guys. I don't believe you. Yeah, Billy's probably right, I bet I'm not. In fact, Celeste was precisely the one who proposed that we split up. Yep. Then why don't we split into two groups? I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. Very well. Then I choose Makoto and Hina. Two people I can definitely get to do what I say. <laughs> you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Byakuya, and Sakura. That well... If Celeste and Hifumi were working together, all those chance events suddenly become connected. And isn't it convenient that that meant both groups had three people? Uh-huh. <laughs> that was not accidental. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and on top of that, that piercing cry of yours early on. It's a sig! <laughs> no! 
I thought she was gonna do a really good scream, so I, I cut <laughs> myself short. I could have belted one out! That was to signal he flew me, wasn't it? Uh huh. Ah, oh, vindication. Vindication! I'll never do that again. It was your way this of episode. Him, we are on the third floor. Everything's going according to plan. Why else would you let out a scream that could have carried across the sea? Uh. I just realized another strange thing. When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, who we now know was only pretending to be dead. So what's she gonna do? Just sort of flip out and be like, no, 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 after having dropped the fake funny voice? Maybe? I don't know if we can handle another freaking bullet time battle. Maybe? <laughs> I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. Celeste, you were the first one to say he'd been murdered. To be fair, in a killing game where several murders have already taken place, uh -huh. when you come across a classmate in, in a, a situ pool of blood, <laughs> in a pool of blood who has already been attacked, and supposedly you have been too. Yeah. I do think it's fair to assume yeah. that a murder has taken place. You wanted to make sure we wouldn't have any doubt in our minds. Ah, there we go. That's it. That No, no, he's right about that. I, I don't believe it. Everything, the whole thing was one big act. What do you have to say for yourself? By the way, mad props to Makoto. We've been making fun of him a lot sometimes, and so we definitely need to give him that. We oh, hadn't, yeah. We hadn't considered that point he just made at all. That's true. So good job, Makoto. Hina, you were with Celeste when Hifumi's body disappeared, right? Yeah. I was feeling kind of sick, so Celeste took me to the bathroom. Wait, then that was... Uh-huh. Ding, 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 ding. worried about you. She just saw a chance to help Hifumi sneak out of the nurse's office. Each piece isn't much by itself, but start putting yeah. them together and the picture gets very ugly indeed. It's true we had no physical proof, but she's got to be able to explain all of this because it all looks yeah. really bad. All we have to do is convince enough people that it's true. Wouldn't you agree, Celeste? Here it comes. I have no idea what you mean. Don't bother trying to deny it. You made one fatal mistake. Oh, indeed I. Did Ev she? <laughs> everything was too neat. Like, too accounted for mm -hmm. that it made it seem really artificial. I didn't even catch it myself when you first said it. Oh? But looking back, I can say that that one little slip-up was your undoing. What are you talking about? I'm talking about what you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and we returned to the nurse's office. What did she say? They must really be enjoying this. Indicating that there's two of them. Multiple people. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. Okay, no... I mean, he's right, he's right, okay. But here we have a translation snafu. Okay. Like when it's come to Robo Justice, for instance, they've used the, the like the English plural or the English gender neutral they. Oh, okay, right? okay. So to suddenly make it make it make us think that they is supposed to be plural okay, instead of I gotcha. just trying to like be neutral, so we don't come out with a he or a she. Okay, okay. That's what that is. All right. And that that's come up a lot in Persona as well. We're all going to die here. We're going to die just like those guys died. I remember her saying Ah, that there we too. go. That's it. That's what it is right there. I don't understand what's so strange. What's so strange about, about it? Those guys. Those guys. Yeah, talk uh Kiyotaka and Hifumi. We hadn't found Kiyotaka's body. <gasps> oh! Then pay attention. Sakura, Toko, and I were first to discover Taka's body in the equipment. Uh huh. Room. Okay. Then Makoto showed up and told us Hifumi had been killed. So Sakura and I left with Makoto. Right! Celeste was still down there! 
Once we were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the four of us headed to the nurse's office. Yeah. Okay. The entire time we were together, none of us said anything about Taka being dead. BAM! Think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. It was completely out of place. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Although I don't really get what it means. It, it, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, don't worry, man. <laughs> just, just shut your mouth. You hear that, Celeste? Everyone's having some trouble understanding. <laughs> Could you repeat what you said? You know, I'm kind of enjoying Biakio being an asshole because it's at Celeste for killing. Yeah, and not directed at us for <laughs> once. Right. And not all being an asshole about how he plans on killing everybody with machine guns. <laughs> if you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? Yakia said that Celeste's comment doesn't make sense, but what's he alluding to? Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to... I mean, it's Celeste's account. Is it? Maybe. What's... We'll just watch it. We'll it's watch it once. It's not Celeste's account. All I said was... Celeste's account is about... Really be enjoying this. Like when she pled enjoying for her life. The sides of us standing around frightened and confused. Frightened and confused. confused. Us. We are all going to die here. We are going to die. That. Just like those guys died. Right. And that is all I said. And that's all it takes to finish this. It's what was so strange about that. Celeste's comment. Oh, I missed. That's okay, though. That's what it is. Yep. Incidentally, Celeste, just to just to verify Celeste's account. It's not the Monokuma file. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, well, it's a I different time exactly than I thought. What it was, yeah. But it wasn't that. All I said was... It's not e-handbook. Yeah. Really be and that's all it takes. What was so strange about Celeste's comment? Interesting that there isn't any static or white noise. Well, this time that means you can't get any time back either. Okay, that's true. And it's to make it... Like, sometimes the white noise makes it... Makes it so that you get suspicious of certain comments. That's true. That's true. Like, oh. Like the one that had something in front of everything. Now we're in a shooter because there's all these white noise things blocking us mm -hmm. from getting this one. Good old robot jock. <laughs> Come on, those guys. Just like those guys. We are going to die. Boo! No, it's wrong. That's right. There's no reason Celeste should have said, just like those guys died. Aitsura or something like that. <laughs> when she said that, none of us had told her Taka was dead. Exactly. Poker face. And we didn't run into her until after we were all out in the hall. She should have a good poker face, though. Right. So there was never any chance for her to have seen his body in the equipment room for herself. So how did you know, Celeste? How did you know more than one person had been killed? And how did you know they were both guys? Or Kareda, as the case apparently is. <laughs> because Kyoko had also disappeared, right? So she could have been dead too. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <laughs> you all have such vivid imaginations. You know that? It's true, though. But that you're wrong, but... <laughs> you claim that I was lying when I told you about the suspicious person I saw. Then what about the picture I took? You, but you time to deal with this, okay? Okay. Villain dragging Hifumi away. It, it has to be some kind of setup, right? Yeah. So let's put the suit on. And then then she used the camera's timer she can't to, put on the suit. To set up the picture. You're still drugged. Yeah. Or whatever. Have you so quickly forgotten? You are the only one who could have possibly fit into that suit. She's really trying as hard as she can, but this is only, like, a, a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Compared to everything else, this is like a half-hearted little, like, <laughs> no, uh. <laughs> little baby slap. Plus, I happen to know that this particular camera does not have a timer. In other words, it is an unassailable fact that this is a picture of Hifumi being dragged away. Well, she did take the picture, just like she yeah, said but she it's took no, the picture. But there's no motion in the picture, Damon. It's not proof that he was being dragged away. Is Maybe? what I was getting at. Maybe? If everything I told you was a lie, how can this picture exist? 
I mean, you're probably right about that. Simple. Are we sure that's really a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away? I mean, didn't we say it looked like Hifumi had him draped over his shoulders? Well, yeah, I just wasn't talking. Yeah. I wasn't talking about like motion or something like that. That's that's why that's what I was hes being hesitant about. But yeah, the picture is obviously fake. Or right. Not obviously, but when you have everything else in mind, looking at it, you it, it is fake. Mm. There, especially when you consider what happened to Yasuhiro and the timeline. Right. That's why I was saying this is such like a such a wimpy thing. We already know Yasuhiro is the only person who could have fit in that suit. Yeah. And he disappeared hours before like Kiyotaka. One hours before Kiyotaka was killed. And this, of course, was after Kiyotaka was killed. Mm -hmm. But Yasuhiro was still unconscious. Yes. Yasuhiro didn't wake up till much later when Unless, they found him. Well, yeah. Unless there really is a second co No, no. It's not a it, It's not a costume that stands on its own. So right. We already figured. It. Yeah. So it was him. So who moved him into the locker then? We hadn't actually thought he about it. He for me. If he had him draped over his shoulder like that, he could have just like shoveled him out. And didn't you say earlier that they could have both moved him? Yeah, uh, so that would have been... Oh, everybody left at about 8. Mm-hmm. And everyone was basically on the first floor mm -hmm. until then. Okay, I don't want to get too far... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not get too far ahead of I ourselves. I think we're just getting... I, I think that's just getting distracted. Yeah, yeah. What could you possibly mean by that? What's in front of our face is that this picture is faked, and there's enough reason looking at it yeah. physically to assume that it's fake. And we know where all the people involved in it are at that time. Surely there are other explanations than the one you've offered up. No, there is no other explanation. But that would, that would mean that Yasuhiro was working with you. Other explanations? You mean like how it was all so ridiculous from the moment it was brought up? That she fell down after being tagged by a hammer... <laughs> took a picture. Pled for her life. Then pled for her life. Then after pleading for her life, passed out. But that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> if this is a picture of this... If he's been dragged away. The he possibility yeah. is he for me is dragging the suspect away. They're dancing. <laughs> it's not a picture of the suspect dragging he for me. He's got him on his shoulders, carrying him kind of. I would say it's a picture of Hifumi dragging the suspect away. That's the only way to, to reconcile the height, after all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> within the realm of possibility. The one being dragged off in that picture isn't Hifumi, but the person in the robot. Otherwise, he'd be tilting the other way, like pulling him. But instead, he's leaning on Hifu Hifumi simply been led to believe that it's the other way around. And the strange costume might only exist yes, to lead us to Yes, that! <laughs> that right there. there! There would have to be a reason for it! If you saw someone wearing something like that in this situation, of course you'd notice and be suspicious. And then try to ignore all the other physical details going on because you're so busy being weirded out by the robot. That's what happened! You put me to sleep and made me out to be the bad guy in all this. <laughs> <laughs> Such a thing is utterly impossible. Uh, oh, yeah? Hifumi was dragging him away? Ridiculous. Well, I guess all you have left is denial. Is it? I don't think it's ridiculous at all. Then shut your mouth and allow me to educate you. Wow! Wouldn't it actually be kind of awesome if we got to go to the picture and point out the things that were wrong? <laughs> yeah. But I guess if you want that, then you go play Ace Phoenix. Attorney. Yeah, Phoenix Wright. Celeste thinks she can prove that there's no way he for me was dragging the suspect away. But is that really possible? Well, let's see what it is first before we try and decide on. Okay, Robo Justice costume, Yasuhiro's me up in that messy. suit after I passed out. Then you just draped me across Hifumi and had him carry my weight. That's correct. You tried to make me look like the bad guy. Correct. Like I said, ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly up. But he's not. If the person inside the suit was unconscious. 
There's no way they could stand up straight like that. Stand up straight. The fortune telling idiot is the culprit after all. No way. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so that was easy. As you can see in the picture, the there we go. Standing perfectly upright. If the person not this one, the, the next one. I know it's not this one! There's no way they could stand up straight like that. I, I missed. There we go. Woo! Good old robot jock. I swear that's the best skill in this game so far. I'm glad it's the first one we got. <laughs> no. Even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up like that. That must have been why it was designed to not yeah. give it the waist. Because that robo just oh, yeah. a certain characteristic. The core block system. <laughs> See, you shoot off the top and then you shoot off the bottom and then the core block, the cockpit block, comes out, transforms into a core fighter and we're not talking about Gundam? No. Oh. You totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. Right. They totally made a mistake when they made it, so it couldn't bend at the waist. They didn't make a mistake. It was like that on purpose. I'm not uh -huh. so sure that was a mistake. I think the suit was designed from the beginning to be used the way it was. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste and Hifumi took the suit they'd specially designed and stuffed Hiro into it. Mm -hmm. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. The point of it all was to make us believe whoever was in the suit was to blame. <laughs> well then, I suppose this is check. I love that that portrait. Yeah. <laughs> nga, 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 nga. Checkmate. It seems like we're about to get an Ace Attorney style breakdown, yeah. aren't we? Maybe she'll just scratch her face a thousand times. Her hair drills will pop off. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, checkmate? S Celeste? <laughs> Clearly, you want to cram me into your little guilty box. <laughs> There's one little problem. Have you already forgotten what Hifumi told us as he lay dying? <laughs> She's trying so hard to maintain the accent. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really nice to listen to. Hey, Hifumi, who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Ya Yasu. And see, there was that there I was talking about. He, bro. He didn't finish the statement, though. When we asked him who had attacked him, his answer was quite clear, was it not? <laughs> There's no way. Well, I wonder... If he's dying from a blow to the head, can you trust anything he says? Would he... Maybe you could trust the dying words, though. But would he be covering for Celeste, or did he just not finish? I think he just didn't finish. He said, and I quote, Yasuhiro! In other words, Yasuhiro Hagakure! Right, but my name isn't really Yasuhiro! It's actually... Taro. Ah! I was right when it, very, when it came up the very first time! The 16th student really is named Yasuhiro! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> <clears throat> Your confusing statements don't make any sense. <laughs> You're only making things more complicated. That's why you just keep your mouth shut, because when you open it, it only makes things worse. He did say Yasuhiro, but are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hiro? Yeah, because he just said Yasuhiro and then his arm fell. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Jesus Christ. Alternately, if he was mad, if Hifumi was madly in love with Celeste, he That's could have true. covered for her at the That's end. That's true. I think it's just that he didn't finish. Yeah. But the other is still a possibility. Kyoko, what do you mean by that? I mean, I would think that dying words would be something you could generally believe. But yeah. That, that could just be something that you want to believe, mm -hmm. you know? Think back to how Hifumi used to talk to us. How did he refer to each of us? Oh! He said, people, he said people's last names. He didn't give everyone nicknames. He, he always called you Mr. Nagy. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That Mr. Nagy. That's right. Our last names. 
He called us all by our last names. Who knew that that verbal take, I, verbal like way, the way I always pronounce yeah. everyone's names would be would be relevant. That is pretty good. <laughs> exactly. That's a great detail. I, know I heard him say Mr. Nayagi more than once, for example. That's really awesome. Yeah. So if Kafumi did mean to say Hiro's name, he would have said his last name, Hagakure. Like Mr. Hagakure. Hagakure. Hagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
that Hifumi said Yasuhiro as he died. You're right! She wasn't there. This has already come up. This is how we pinned this on Celeste. So where was Kyoko and how did she know that? I'm sure we're not going to find out. You know, like... How, how could she have assumed that that would have been the case? Right, right. Where was she? But that doesn't have anything to do with Celeste. Uh, everything, That's of course, about... Yeah, I hadn't even thought of that. That that must mean something. It either has something to do with where Kyoko was... Or who she is. Or alter ego, perhaps. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Or she's been looking at people's e-hand books. No, no, stealing one isn't against the regulations. Right, borrowing them. Celeste still won't give up. So then I have to do something to make her accept it. Oh, thank God, it's not another bull time battle. We can handle these. E-handbook. Yep. Hifumi was trying to tell us. I mean, this has already come up before. He wanted us to know the killer's last name, Yasuhiro. Ah, uh, that's correct. If there's one person here who might have that last name, it would be the person whose last name we don't it know. It have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. Uh huh. How many times do I have to tell Whoa, you? Whoa, not very much time, huh? My name. <laughs> Celeste, you for God damn it! Okay. That's that's awesome! <laughs> to go on pretending. I'm not pretending. It was upside down! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and since that, right there! No uh -huh. me. BAM! <laughs> that was an excellent shot. Precision <laughs> sniping! <laughs> I like how there are like three giant statics in the way. <laughs> how did Kyoko know to give us this clue? What? <laughs> Anytime you turn your handbook on, it shows the owner's name when it boots up, right? Monokuma told us all about it. This has already been relevant in a trial. Mm -hmm. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Kyoko talking about this aside. Couldn't you say that this is miraculous? At the time that Hifumi died, we did not expect that he was... Well, maybe we... Ex we might have been suspicious, maybe. But either way, at the time he died, we were we were really rather sad. And that's kind of an understatement. <laughs> and, you know, like the miracle aspect of, of Aoi crying on him and mm -hmm. him kind of coming to life. Isn't it also a miracle that as he was giving his final word that he happened to remember the last name? You're right. In, uh, you, okay. In some ways, Hifumi really saved everyone else yeah. here. The body announcement had already been given. And this is perv, 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 pervy he for me. Yeah. With a woman with very fine arts, cradling. That's relevant to his profession. It is, it is. Uh, cradling his head in her lap, crying on his face. Isn't that the best way you could get a miracle yeah. out of him? That's how, uh, that's how I'm going to remember him. Yeah. Enough of this sappy stuff! I'm on screen! Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Oh, Monokuma, thank you very much! Now, over that conversation, I'm going to put the picture of Hifumi's death because I really don't want to be staring at you while we talk about things that are sappy. Oh. So all we have to do is check her handbook, and that'll clear up everything. That's how we can find out Celeste's real name. Mm-hmm. That, that's an invasion of privacy. I, I refuse to cooperate. Well, we'll I'll just vote for you then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You you have no rights here, and you you don't have to show us. We'll just vote for you. Celeste, can you please just tell us what really happened? It's over. We got you. Please, just tell us. I accept, especially at this point. There's more going on that we don't know. Mm -hmm. But here it comes. 
the next bullet time battle. No. Even when I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Huh. Put in check, no less, not checkmate. Because, 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 because. <laughs> <laughs> She knows how that goes as the ultimate gambler. Yeah. Fine then. Let me settle it. Let me go over the case again. Ah, okay. Okay, here's the final closing argument. Thank God. <laughs> and that'll bring everything to an end. Oh, this one's gonna be a doozy. <laughs> keep, keep it in room. Okay, okay. And I like how we oh. Oh, he for me right there. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of like Fred Flintstone. Or, a little bit, yeah. Or like Ben from One Piece. And he really does have the chestnut head here. <laughs> Potato chips, bunch of posters. Idol poster. Extremely feminine Gollum. Who kind of has the Monokuma thing going. A little bit. The, the halves. Okay, anyway. We only have so much time, so... We'll just move on through before we go back to right. get that. Okay, so at this point, we have to find something about a newt. Okay, it's not that one. Note! Hello, note! No? Not that, not that one. Wow, this... Congratulations, Billy. This, this really is a doozy. <laughs> okay, so that's when he was drugged. What's right before that? I mean, the problem is now I want to just admire all this stuff. Right? Like how Yasuhiro looks all surly coming in here. <laughs> the super dramatic drug scene. Yo, it's that one. <laughs> Man, I'm going to put that, but that may not be it. Yeah, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Okay, so now they... Oh, his hair wilted. It's, <laughs> it's his life force! <laughs> Yasuhiro's hair is his life force! So they tucked it in after it wilted. You have an explanation, Damon! I got my explanation. I can take it. Sort of. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that would be Celeste taking... Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Because then it cuts to Kiyotaka. Who still has the Super Saiyan oh, Kiyotaka hair. Mondo Taka. Mondo Maru. Uh, now Hammer 4. Kiyotaka was Hammer 4, yeah. That's Hammer 2. No, I mean, no, it's not that one. Because he's holding Hammer 4 right there. Okay. No, because that's bloody. Huh! Okay, well, anyway, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> so he really did kill him with hammer four. It's okay. just that it's just that Justice Hammer Five, the spotless hammer, Is was because okay. it corresponded to the exact same size. Because remember, mm -hmm. there was the same size of them on both layers of the hammer. Thing. Right, right. Okay, so he really was killed with four. He didn't have any evidence either way. Oh, he for me. Now, now it could be that. <laughs> okay, and then this is the account. We go to the library. He for me uh, with blood on him. Uh, he for me had been hit. That was Justice Hammer Two, but that that didn't make sense there. But Justice yeah. Hammer Two is the what? Boy, this is kind of tough actually, because we can't quite tell what all of these are. I guess it's this one? I actually, I think that's the first one. It looks like he's shaking Celeste's hand. Maybe? Maybe? Well, because I mean, the you... first one has the Gollum guy shaking someone's hand in, on the opposite direction. I hadn't looked. Let's uh, <laughs> let's go back here, then. Man, I hope we don't See? run oh, out no, of right time. Here. It's even got the same kind of background. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Good call. Oh! So it's probably going to be the clock that's before uh Yasuhiro Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that is going to be Oh, he's be checking six. his time. He's yeah, that's going to be yeah. the, the clock for six. The, which... the watch, right there. 
Right there! Right there! Do you get it? Oh, okay, right no, there. it was it was uh see I was thinking otherwise because it's turned. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, that's not six, so it must not be that one. And then there's the actual clock for one. For one, so and that's, that's, that's the one when, with Yasuhiro. Yeah. <laughs> which is Right here. Right here. Because he's just now one, entering, yeah, so it can't it's, be. Because it's 1 a.m. Okay, yeah. got it. <laughs> Alright. So Ifumi kills Kiyotaka. Don't worry about that one later. <laughs> <laughs> I like the magical girl transformation. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> and so this would be Justice Hammer 2 with blood on her. Justice Hammer 2, probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because that's when Justice Hammer 2 was there. Yeah. The killer. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's in their different locations with the shocked expressions. Man, these are so nice, aren't they? Yeah. And then here's Hifumi pushing the trolley. Right. Dolly. Dolly. Something-y. Right there. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that that's him unloading him at the repository. That I saw that. And you see, this is this is how th this is the problem. That's how the he for me got involved. Yeah, it was his own personality quirks. And then I guess the bloody mallet, because there's the mallet in her hand. Yeah. And there isn't any other scene with that on it. Okay. Remember, these other ones are scenes from other ones. Y or, yes, I know, yeah. or irrelevant. Yeah. But okay, I'm just I'm just right, going right. through everything. Check. Yeah. Okay. So, the other ones we have left are a Bloody Justice Hammer 3, which would refer to Kiyotaka, mm -hmm. because he was the one... No, Kiyotaka had four. Yeah, um, which it, we used, yeah. Three was the one that killed Hifumi in the medical. Yeah, you're right, okay. He was assaulted in the uh, library by two, and one was the one... You, oh, did you have to put that there? That's why I'm doing <laughs> this! Okay, this... It's, it's not this one, because that was already... Mm -hmm. That's already used, like the blood packet. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one's right there. And then the that's the previous already one. used. And there, that's her winding up. Yeah, and there already was... That was also used. Well, no... Yeah, there right it is. Right there, yeah. There it is. Uh, that's irrelevant to anything? That, that's, uh, that was also used, the backpack. And then the potato chips in his room. Yeah, the potato chips in his room were used. Justice Hammer 2 turned out to not be anywhere because... Well, let's make sure. And you saw, when was the backpack? Oh, we still Oh, we haven't that. used it. The oh, that's the library, early. so that yeah. would be Justice Hammer 2 there, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and if you go to the right, you'll see where the backpack was. Like, really early on. Right there. Ah, there's the backpack. And everything else has been used. Except for Byaki. No, Byaki no, no, was used, yeah, too. That when was, they discovered okay, so, Kiyotaka. I think we got it! <laughs> you! Before anything, the killer persuaded someone to help carry out the murder. And that person was... <laughs> he flew me. With an accomplice, the killer was able to execute a number of otherwise impossible schemes. First, right. they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. Yeah! That someone they met with was Hero. Man, she got Hifumi to do everything. She's not gonna dirty her hands, except for at the very the end. The murderous duo intended to pass Hiro off as the prime suspect. So when they met up with him... So the question is, is it as... Is it as this part indicates with him going all crazy like this? Which... Maybe? Or, or is it that he was... Is it that he was... Uh, bribed into or manipulated mm. strongly into. I feel he was strongly manipulated. I, just I don't mean, think he's capable of it on his own. We've already been betrayed quite strongly several times. Yeah. Before. They drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the Robo Justice suit. Robo Justice, activate. <laughs> Justice Robo, Kido. Uh. I do agree that there's no way he would have been able to do it on his own. But with a little bit of an impetus. Especially when he knew that 
he was just gonna be killing Kiyotaka. Next, Hifumi positioned himself to make it look like Robo Justice was attacking him. Somebody that he actually has a specific grudge against. Mm -hmm. For the uh woman question mark he <gasps> loves. Yeah. While the killer used a digital camera to take pictures of the assault. I mean, he, he for me has always called Alter Ego a she. They did mm -hmm. all this just to create evidence that would put the suspicion on Hiro. When they were done with him, they shoved him, still unconscious, into the pool room locker. And then finally, at 6 a.m., they moved into the murder phase of their plan. They called Taka to the equipment room. I like how the uh, Gollum killer... It doesn't really have too much of a role in this You're one. You're right! And it's all he for me. Until the end, yeah. This just, I mean, this adds credence to, I mean, we're gonna find out really shortly. Yeah. Okay, but it just adds credence to the idea that Celeste was saying, I will work with you. That she was the accomplice mm -hmm. for him. Oh! Yo! And that's where Hifumi killed him making it the scene of the first murder. These depictions usually put the killer people in a murderous intent, even though, like, Mondo wasn't like right. that, but his golem form still was all like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I really don't think he for me was like this. And we had although, that, we had that with he, Sayaka too, you know. Yeah, although maybe he kind of got in the moment, like he had to in order to bring himself to do this, but... The you might be right. was Justice Hammer 4 which was left there in the equipment room. The reason hammer number four was used was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. This is definitely the best thought out, mm -hmm. no, the only thought out crime that's happened so far. Yeah, both were kind of spontaneous. Yeah. So, next they falsified two more assault incidents. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims to solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. The first fake incident was the attack in the rec room. There, the killers wanted us to see Justice Hammer 1 and the Robo Justice pictures they'd taken. You know, I was going to say, kind of a reiteration, but I was going to say, wouldn't you think that this maybe does seem a little too obvious? For, for a plan like this, but then you're looking back at how how the gang has yeah. reacted to everything, actually it isn't at, like that at all. No, it's not at all. a reasonable way of doing it. They wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack story. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2 and an injured Yifumi to sell us that story. With these two incidents, the killers were able to create a certain preconception in our minds. That must have been why it took place in the library as well, to show that he's running around all over the place. Yeah, yeah. That the suspect was increasing the size of the hammers and attacking people in order as they did. That part is a really neat idea. Like, really psychologically effective. Right mm -hmm. their trap and started looking for the suspect based on that. But... I also feel pretty happy well, we that. that we got everything well, right here, yeah, you know? Yeah. In the nurse's office. This was exactly what Hifumi was hoping for. Refrigerator <laughs> 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 and Justice Hammer 3. Boo Kohime! Make up! Or something like that, right? <laughs> he turned the room into a crime scene in which he himself had apparently been brutally murdered. He let out a scream to draw us back, and when we returned, that's what we found. Meanwhile, the other group that had been out searching found Taka's body at the same time. Man, I love these scenes. So when we heard the body just... discovery announcement, we mm -hmm. naturally assumed it was for Hifumi. They're just so stylish! Yeah. <laughs> we left the nurse's office. And Hifumi once again took advantage of the situation. He simply got up and made his escape. When we learned his body had disappeared, we all rushed back to the nurse's office. And once again, 
Kifumi had the chance he was waiting for. This time, he snuck into the equipment room. <laughs> he wrapped his body in a tarp and used the dolly to move it all the way down to the repository. I actually had started looking at the uh, incredibly smelly looking yeah. having exerted effort he for me. So when you look down at the bottom right, I didn't even notice he was like <laughs> doing like the, the crazy leg run. <laughs> Pretty awesome. It, all of these things with the transformation and the crazy leg run, they really fit somebody like he for me. Yeah. That explains how each of the bodies disappeared. <laughs> but even Hifumi didn't know what the true killer had in mind for their final act. And we never did talk about why yeah. this happened and why this come out. the case. No, it'll come up next. Yeah. Their plan all along was to kill Hifumi and get rid of the one person who could betray them. And they did it using an ordinary, everyday hammer from the repository. That should cover everything that happened in this case. And the villain behind it all is... Ah! <laughs> nice! These scenes, too, I really love them a lot. Yeah! What do you what do you call this type of coloration? Oh. Uh. Somebody help me. <laughs> Excellent. I lost. Feel really bad for he for me though. Yeah, poor guy. And obviously Kiyotaka. Right. I lost. Again, now that Celeste's out of the way, Just we only Yaki, have really. we only have one more awful person to suspect. Yeah. When was the last time I was forced to utter such words? Hundreds of years ago! Sorry, what? Well, I mean, my god, who's left? Well, we'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that later. They hang heavy around my neck. Didn't she say she hasn't really ever lost? Mm -hmm. Then you admit it? You're the killer? That's how she was the ultimate gambler? <laughs> Listen to you, trying to take charge. As if you're my private instructor. I, Celestia Ludenberg. Actually, no. Yasuhiro Hiroyasu? Taiko Yasuhiro is fine. Taiko, <laughs> huh? Okay. Taiko? So, you finally accepted it. I'm the kind of person, once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. Interesting. So she's just gonna throw in the towel right away. I mean, at this point, she has lost, so... Thank God. No big dramatic speech. <laughs> yeah, ha ha ha! Those were the... Yeah. We still did okay. We got about it on top. We got an A at the end. It's the, fine. The problem, like, was that wristwatch... I had apparently never even thought that they needed to be in order, so this had never... Right. So I was just like, Hangman, I just have to pick the, the right letter, right? Right. And there were like 729,000 <laughs> letters, so I was like, why isn't any of this working? Oh, T? There's a T in wristwatch. I cannot believe I never noticed. Okay, Monokuma. I'm ready to begin. Jeez. Or, no... I suppose this is the end, isn't it? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to vote, okay? Okay. Okay, can you make sure to clarify the rules, though? <laughs> How many times are we voting? Are we voting Everyone's once? Everyone's always said the true killer. Okay. And it all came down to her. That's true. If you would... Please locate your lever and cast your vote. Because the thing is, is we don't actually vote. Uh, so it's yeah. going to vote for whoever. Yeah. That's true. And when the votes are I'm trying to 
Who will become the black? I'm trying to be involved, though. Come on. <laughs> will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? And I also noticed that the uh, people who are dead are grayed out. Yeah. What? It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you're totally correct! I wonder if there's ever going to be one of these where we're not actually sure and we really do have to convince other people that even though we can't convince everyone. Mm. Maybe not in this game, but in the series it might Maybe. happen. The Blacken this time! The true killer who devised the whole stinking scheme! What? Celestia Ludenberg! Or more precisely, Taiko Yasuhiro! Honestly. I lost. Well, that sucks. I guess trying to work with someone else was a mistake after all. Hifumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. I knew it. So you really did approach Hifumi with this plan? Right. But how did you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would have happily agreed to commit murder. Yeah, this is the part that I was really wanting to know. Hm. I'm sure she relied on her specialty, lying. <laughs> my specialty? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to lie to get him to agree. So then. then did you use, you know? I knew you'd figure it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get he for me to act as my accomplice, mm -hmm. I used her. Alter ego. For everyone who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but huh. it was the one thing he for me and Taka were both super into. So she means alter ego. Mm-hmm. Say what? 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 What are you talking about? I don't like secrets, everyone. Unless I'm keeping them. It has to do with this uh, thing we found in the Mono Mono machine, one of the prizes. It was like this thing that had Princess Piggles on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just a second. Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. <laughs> I like how in the first, in the first, or in the prologue and in chapter one, everyone was like in rapt attention to Monokuma, and then after that, everyone's like, just shut up. Yeah. I'm totally out of the loop as usual. How sad. Yeah, nobody cares. Get lost. In other words. Then you're the one that stole it? Indeed. That's right. I see. And you used it to drag Hifumi into the plan you'd come up with. Right again. Last night, after we had our meeting about how it disappeared, I paid he for me a little visit. Um, oh, um, what are you doing here? He's got what a is that on the wall behind you, he for me? And he's got a he's got a monkey or a gorilla with a backpack on the desk and some other figure. I was looking at the disturbingly know, sized costume on the wall. Uh, well, I'm looking at the King Kong Godzilla thing, and then there's oh, a yeah. girl over there looking at the different figures. Uh, there's a decided lack of robot figures, however. <laughs> Actually, I was hoping I could talk to you alone. It is about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? Oh. Are you okay with this? It was Kiyotaka. He stole it. <laughs> what? So and then. I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I'd found a use for the digital camera. I'd taken you-know-what to Taka's room earlier and took pictures of it there. I deleted the picture as soon as I showed it to Hifumi, of course. Damnation! So it was him! But how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if either of us got close to her! You are correct, which is why Kiyotaka forced me to steal it. Say what? As for me... Please forgive me. He, he, he threatened me. He threatened my life. Oh. He, um, he did? As for me... He came to my room last night unannounced, and then... It's hard for me to even say. He abused me. What? He for me was that acting... That is awful. He for me was acting to protect Celeste against an evil villain and to save Alter Ego. Yeah. 
from his perspective, he wasn't doing anything wrong at all. And really, if what he had been told were the truth... Right? It would be pretty hard-pressed to say he really was doing something wrong. Yeah. And when you look at Fudge and Poop Kiyomondo... <sighs> Right? It's quite feasible to believe he may have gone frickin' crazy and actually done something like that. Yeah. And he he took pictures. He said that if I did not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. So I I had no choice. Damnation! That's a crime! An absolute crime! He, I mean, I knew he'd gone a little crazy, but... I never imagined he would... Would go that far! Oh, he for me. In the end, he really... I mean, he was wrong, but he really... He was really trying to do the right thing. It was amazing how completely he bought it. <laughs> I can't express how enjoyable that was. You know, maybe this is what that uh, Monokuma Theater was talking about. Hmm. You know, the one where he was talking about, like, uh... What's evil when one person does it, and oh. isn't evil when another person does it? Like ah, the whole war one. thing? That one, that one, that one. The well, you know, yeah. that probably is true. Um, now again, I don't need to make my stance any clearer than I already have, and I'm not going to run around beating people over the head with a stick with it unless it becomes necessary to, and this isn't that time, but it is pretty interesting. The difference between our, our reaction to Mondo... And Mondo's murder, I mm -hmm. mean, the, the, the murder he committed, right, and the murder right. that Hifumi committed. Yeah. With this, to be fair, we didn't have a strong initial reaction because we had already been betrayed. Right, yeah. First yeah. Sayaka, and then Mondo, like the one-two punch. Yeah. After that, that's going to make that strong reaction much smaller. We would have had the same, a similar reaction, well... We likely would have had a similar reaction to Hifumi as well had this not already happened. Right. The desensitization mm -hmm. stuff. But having said that, Hifumi really thought he was doing something right. Mondo knew he was doing something wrong. Right. But that doesn't mean Hifumi's blameless here. Oh, no. He didn't ask to see any proof. He accepted what what Celeste told him mm. without question, not because he's an idiot, right. or or because he's he's too naive. Because he did have a grudge against Kiyotaka. This was Celeste telling him what he wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. He wanted to hear that the person that he hated was a for, monster for taking away the object of his fetish was already a monster. Yeah, he wanted to know that he could be the hero in one of his games or anime mm -hmm. or stories. He wanted to get Alter Ego for himself. Not to stop Alter Ego from right. doing what it was already doing. But so he could have access to her. Because he wanted, I mean, you know, he kind of was falling in love with her yeah. because nobody else had ever been nice to him. I mean, no other girl had right, ever right. treated him like that. Even though he knew what was going on. And this situation that Celeste gave him, and he clearly liked Celeste too. Mm. This situation that Celeste gave him Gave him every single thing that he wanted, so he jumped on it. Mm -hmm. He not only didn't didn't he just accepted it all without without a problem, but you know, people who do hate someone else, yeah, may really not be that unhappy if they have a completely justifiable chance to inflict violence upon them, right? Because, again, if Kiyotaka had done these things... Oh, yeah. Nobody would be mourning him right now, except right. that killing him would still be murder. Yeah, yeah, that's still wrong. Killing in self-defense in Danganronpa means you're killing everyone else or yes. yourself. So you have to not actually finish them off. Right, right. So it's like, these are the reasons why you can't completely be like, Oh, he for me didn't do anything wrong. Right. I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life. But again... He for me really thought he was doing the right thing. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to f f f fucking kill him. Wait, please. If you go now, you will be playing right into his hands. Huh? Huh? Actually, Kiyotaka is planning to use her to escape. 
and he has made you his target. What? Escape? You don't mean... Huh, maybe she just overloaded him. Like, with more than he could really think about. Probably. Or he didn't Got bother. him in the moment. And yeah. And then just pounced on him got psychologically. Him, got him in the moment with, like, all the desires that he had. Mm -hmm. Just like how at the very beginning of the trial, Celeste immediately tried to just bull rush everyone right. down. <sighs> Kiyotaka is going to try to kill you. Indeed. And all... So he can keep her to himself. <laughs> that bastard! Bastard, 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 bastard! Can we allow him to continue with these barbaric acts? Absolutely not! How could I? She. she. I swear! I have to save her! Actually. Then, would you like to join with me? It just so happens I have come up with a plan. Eh? <laughs> I have devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> and with that, it is complete. Mm -hmm. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. Did you just make an illusion in your flashback? <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> I don't feel comfortable with what you just said right there. <laughs> he for me agreed without a second thought. <laughs> The effect that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love. Even a love as twisted as that can still drive people mad, it would seem. Uh, um... You disgust me in every way. That's the right reaction. I see. I have another question for you. Was that strange costume Hifumi's creation? Indeed. Yeah, it was a real pain in the butt, too. All I asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. I had no idea he'd make something like that, but it's my fault for picking him in the first place. But... So, why'd you decide to make me the suspect? Because you're stupid. Hey. I was about I was about <laughs> to say that same thing. That's it? Let's and in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation, even though I nonetheless got caught in the end. Life must have been tough on your parents, though. I feel like I could cry for many reasons. <laughs> but when you were explaining your plan to Hifumi, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? What she's asking is, what was Hifumi supposed to do after that, assuming you had actually let him live? Are you okay with this? That's simple. After he did his part and pretended to be dead, once someone showed up, I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he just barely held on. And he really believed that? <laughs> well, of course, that wasn't all there was to it. As I explained it to Hifumi, the plan was, while you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Hifumi would have an alibi, so nobody could doubt him. I told him that, and he believed it. And again, Hifumi just let this go on by. Yeah. Because he was offered a chance to get what he wanted. Hm. It all seems very straightforward, stereotypical, boring, pedantic. Well, not pedantic. <laughs> pedestrian was what you were looking ah, for. Ah, yeah, that pedestrian, that. I just matched the lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, he for me ate it up, just like we said. Was that a fat joke? He believed the lie wholeheartedly, right up until the moment of his death. So in the end... So you had planned to kill him all along. But of course. There would have been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. What the heck? How can human life mean so little to you? Well... That's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. This is the first time I've ever felt attraction to a female. <laughs> now you sound like Byakuya! I wonder about that. No, he derives his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Why? Then, what made you take things this far? What the heck? Was it really just for money? Hmm. Are you talking about the $10 million Monokuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. <sighs> but that's not all there is to it. 
From the moment our new life here began, my only thought has been escape. But... But, but all along you've been saying how we have to accept living here. It's Just called... Just like those commentators said you were lying. It's an alibi, you fool. You little bitch. Obviously, that was a lie. You don't gotta call me names. Hey. I couldn't take it. I hated it from day one. From the beginning, I'm the only person who's ever really been trying to get out of here. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. I wanted to get out every day with fresh torture. And do you want to know why? Ah! Because I'm stupid? This is fine. Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream forever. Honestly. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. As for me... And it was all for that dream. And what was this dream of yours? Isn't it wonderful? To live in a European castle. Wow! That... that's it? Our... <laughs> and... and to what? Start a vampire clan? <laughs> and to gather handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butler slash bodyguards. Is that Byakuya kissing her foot? I don't think so. Yeah, no, he doesn't have glasses. Never mind. It might be, though, something like that. I mean, the person on the top right kind of has a similar Byakuya hair, That's too. true. I was going to make them dress up like vampires. I called it! <laughs> and satisfy my every need. We have called the weirdest <laughs> crap this time around. The weirdest crap! What do you want to be, the next boss in a Castlevania game? <laughs> Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of decadence where I await a vampire hunter with a whip to invade <laughs> and start destroying my candles. This is fine. Living the rest of my life there was my only dream, my only goal. That's what life is all about! What a horrible person. <sighs> what a petty and pathetic... Ah. Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's ten million dollars would have made that dream a reality. I got right to the edge, but... There is nothing to be done. Unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream till the very end, so why would I? Just the worst. You sound so passionate, but you were really able to kill your own friends for it? Oh. Are you asking me to feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavor. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. How sad. Do you understand? That's all there is to me. That's what makes me... Complete. <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. What is this? That's what we should be saying. And plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> My ability to lie is unrivaled, and I take pride in that. It's not just other people. I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious deceives the unconscious. That's scary. That kind of reminds me of Seinfeld, actually. Uh, it's not a lie if you believe it to be true. Ah. He said, what was his name, George? Is that right? Oh, uh, George Costanza? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why you're not scared? Yes, indeed. That's right. I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. <sighs> but you know, if I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice, then... Isn't it wonderful? I think I would like to come back as Marie Antoinette. Hey. You just get executed again. <laughs> 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 You're kind of creepy. <laughs> Celeste smiled then. And when she did, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. 
She claimed she could fool her own feelings, but that statement itself must have been her final lie. And that weak, fake smile is what betrayed her. Y'all done? Okay, then let's get rolling. The black and disturb the peace and must pay the price. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. For her, the ultimate gambler. I wonder if it's going to be a roulette wheel. That's what I was thinking. That could be too similar to Mondo's, though. I guess, yeah. Giant let's dice. Maybe slicing her in half with a really sharp card? Uh, oh god. Probably not. I guess I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. Thank you. What? Ah. Uh, yeah. Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. It'll be in the other locker. Which is why... Actually, it's not important. Well then... Take care, everyone. I will say that in the end, she didn't betray us with uh, Alter Ego. Yeah, she she just basically said that she left yeah. left Alter Ego Alter Ego working. <laughs> oh wait, this Perhaps dolphin. We'll sorry. Again, in another life. That was really obscure, man. <laughs> At least there was that. Perhaps we'll meet again in another life. Oh. You do feel kind of bad for her, but I mean, frankly, she was an evil person. Oh, I feel really bad for her. Nice bunny. That's the problem. She's gonna get burned to death. This is very creative and involved. And how interesting that fire looks. Yeah. Still with that smile on her face, trying her best not to break, but... Um... What? Okay, now it has to get ridiculous, because... That's what they are! Are you kidding me?! Well, at least that's gonna be infinitely less painful than burning to death. That is very true! Okay, that was totally the best one by far, by yeah. about like 50,000%. Yeah. It was so artistic. Well, it's over. The third execution is over. Celeste's death is over. Celeste killed my friends in cold blood, so I can't pity her, but... I also can't deny that, at one point, I considered her a friend, too. And for him to just come along and... The one who is to blame... Is me! Isn't it just awful? Someone couldn't cut free of their regrets from the outside world, and so more people had to die. Extreme! You guys are still young! You need to place more value on your lives! What are you gonna do? Jeez, and here I thought you guys were gonna pass the torch of hope to the next generation. Is this Isn't it a strange thing I just said? Is this, is this really some sort of post-apocalyptic deal? <laughs> let me out of what here. do I care about, Hope? I'll throw it in the trash if you just let me out of here. Too bad. You're all the embodiment of hope, whether you like it or not. Hope and despair. Hope's peak. Mm hmm We can't see anything about the outside. Mm hmm And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one! 
this has got to be... Well, now probably isn't the best time to really speculate. We need to save some for the next episode. Uh -huh. It's sad. Yes, it is. But that reality just can't be avoided. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you going to make us keep going through this? What do you want from us? God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. Hmm. So anyway... Huh. I guess you wouldn't tell me anyway. Never mind. Ah, Kyoko. spy confirmed! <laughs> Kyoko, did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? It's personal business. Look, we voted for her as the as the murderer, and she got executed, right? So... Uh, yes, she totally got executed. Totally. Totally got executed, right? Hey, hey! So, uh, what's the deal with that? Yeah, don't worry. Never mind. <laughs> huh? What's the matter? Sh shut up! Huh? Huh? Sh shut up! Never mind! Really, don't worry. It doesn't matter. So then... I'll answer your question. If you answer mine... You... What did you do? What did you do to me? Oh? <laughs> Turned her into a cyborg with superpowers? Who? What? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> She's... Answer me. What did you do to my body? What about everybody else's then? Wah! Oh man! Oh jeez! Oh man! Oh jeez! What do you mean? What did I do? I, I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. And she doesn't really have access to her memory, and she's not not really a student here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this might explain why I didn't know who she was, and when I was looking everything up, huh? <laughs> What was that? The mastermind did something to Kyoko's body. Get your minds out of the gutter! It had nothing to do with my flagpole! Well, you don't wear pants, it's true. What does that mean? Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I got out of here. Well? Meanwhile, you guys can go on enjoying your school life. Interesting! Kyoko <laughs> actually ran him off! Yep. He just completely dropped his question. Uh-huh. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. Really? See ya. <laughs> See ya. But he does tend to show up when he's announced. Monokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in, as usual, despair. Let's take a moment for a quick inventory, shall we? I see Toko turn back to normal at some point. I, yeah, I noticed that. Seven people. Kyoko, Sakura, Aoi, Yasuhiro, Byakuya, Toko. And Makoto. And Makoto. We're down to half. Who's other than Byakuya? Yeah. I don't think Genocide Jill's going to actually... No, it would be too obvious. It could be Toko, however. That's possible. So it's Toko or Byakuya, because I, mean, I just don't see anyone else. Okay, I, I mean, I guess it could be Kyoko, but... Possibly, if something was done to her. But, like, Sakura or Aoi, they just... They and Yasuhiro? I, uh, Sakura and Aoi, I just can't imagine... Sakura keeps going out of her way to care for other people and to mm. care for the weak. Why would she throw that away to kill somebody without something crazy happening? Yeah, like unless the next motivation is something bonkers. Like, with this you can achieve your dream. The end. You will achieve your dream. If somebody kills somebody else, we will make sure that your dream comes true. I guess everybody being completely broken down, but short of something that ridiculous... How would somebody so protective and mom-like... Right? Momkura. Aoi is just too innocent. She's... Honestly, she's just as normal as Makoto. Yeah. I I don't want to... I don't want to say anything about Yasuhiro. There's more to him than anybody suspects. That's True. for sure. I also love how we pegged him as the first victim. And, <laughs> and he survived so far. Man, he might just hold out to the very end. 
Or, you know, Aoi was completely cracking at the beginning of this. And if That's she, true. If, her, if she's completely lost her innocence at this point, mm-hmm. like after Hifumi, perhaps. Yeah. But I, I, I... Anyway, the point is, is that everybody is going to be staring at Byakuya and probably Toko. Yeah. And it doesn't... It means it might not actually be one of them. Oh God! It what could, if they last till the end? It could be. It could be that Byakuya is like when I see my opportunity, then I'm going to take it. But he never sees his opportunity. That because the one, Makoto is on the hunt. But because the one, yeah, that's a good way to put it. It could be that the one person who thinks who who is like quite openly saying he's going to do it won't ever do it. Never gets a chance to do it. Not because he wasn't going to, but he just never gets a chance. It's like counting genocide Jill as an ally. Yeah, yeah. She is an ally. Because of the circumstances we're in. Right. But outside of that, she's a freaking super <laughs> prolific serial killer. Although, it wasn't all despair. There was one small hope. Alter ego. Hey, Kyoko. Monokuma already mentioned it, but... Hey! <laughs> what's that key that Celeste gave you? So... Most likely, it's the key to one of the dressing room lockers. Of course it's a locker. What? Then that means... Hmm. Celeste probably hid it in there. Hey. I suppose sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well then, we'd better go check. That's a really good place to hide it, too. Yeah. Indeed. Good idea. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at us and said, hey. I'm going to go on alone from here. You can totally trust me. Everyone else head to the dining hall. I'll check in up with you later. What? Why exactly are you going alone? So... Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the surveillance Come camera. On. That's not what I mean. Why you? This is a really good point. Especially if he suspects that sh there's still the risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go too. What? Y you? Please, let me go. You know that if there's two people... I mean, well... I, that was the reason that people couldn't lie with the accomplice rule, uh -huh. but we just saw what happened... You can get a yeah, not get around kind of. it. But, uh, huh. Standing here arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. Goodbye. Huh. Do whatever you want. Up yours, Blarkia. I mean, thank you, Biakia. Well, then. then it's up to you now. I won't ever say that again. <laughs> Probably not. Yo. I'm gonna go to the dining hall, okay? Huh? So, so Makoto and Kyoko are gonna go. Together. I don't think that's what they meant. Oh, does that mean what I think it means? Okay. Good luck, Makoto. Girls like her are total pushovers when you show a little backbone. You can do it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to forget what Hina said. For some reason. Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Cyborg Kyoko there alone. Shall we go? Well, shall we? Yeah. This is for peeping on us in the bath. Stab! Ah! Can't believe you remembered that! That's fine. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe you remembered that! Ah, uh, hold on. This is for peeping on us in the locker. Stab! Because I kind of messed it okay, up. Okay, okay, let's start then let's okay. start from the beginning then. This is for peeping on us in the Not in the locker. This is for peeping on us in the bath. Stab! Ah! Can't believe you remembered that!